Hello again, Internet. Your pal, Handyman Kevin here. Today I'm going to be reviewing my new Hitachi cordless drill. It's the model DS18DGL. And I'm kind of excited because it's my first lithium ion drill ever. If you've been following the tools, you know that just in the last couple of years, nearly all of the cordless drills have gone to lithium ion, which is supposed to be lighter and um, last longer and be more powerful. So let's get this open and see what they gave us. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and open the box. Nice minimal packaging. I like that for the environment. Uh, kind of a basic case, but it looks pretty sturdy. Put the manuals aside for later. And here, what's in the box? We have drill itself, one battery, second battery. I noticed a lot of the drills in this price range, they only come with one battery. And that might be okay if you're working in a shop, but if you're a pro, you really need an extra because you do not want to run out of battery 20 minutes before your shift is over. Have to come back the next day. And then Hitachi Quick Charger. Only works with the lithium ion batteries, so if you have old Hitachi batteries, then you're not going to be able to share a charger. That's not a big deal for me because I had Makita's before. Okay. Oh, and the ubiquitous number six Phillips bit, which is the only bit it comes with, but that's okay because you're going to want to put your own bits in there. So let's look at the drill itself. I got to tell you, holding this here, it feels very solid. Very, you know, uh, rugged. Uh, one thing, it's pretty heavy. Now, a lot of these new lithium drills are just feathers, but this isn't a lot lighter than the last generation of nickel metal hydride. Still, I'd rather have something sturdy than light. I have lightweight drills, but um, this will probably be my main job site drill from now on. So, looking at the chuck, the machining looks pretty clean. I can't feel any slop in there. It's um, got plastic on the outside, which is good because you won't freeze your fingers to it in cold weather. But all the internal parts are metal, which some of the cheap drills don't have. Still, at this price point, you would expect mostly metal parts. Two-speed transmission, pretty standard. And 22-stage clutch. Again, locks up. Pretty solid. It's a, it's a well-balanced drill. I can already tell uh, the different positions. It, it seems like it's going to be easy to hold. Big enough for my hand, and I wear a size large work gloves. So pretty happy with it now. It has the um, classic Hitachi crazy green styling, which people either love or hate. I kind of like it, but you know, you know my style. And then it has this neat sort of rubber overmold here, which. Um, probably gives a little bit of impact resistance and then if you're working on a roof or something it's much less likely to slide down. Another nice feature. Things I notice it doesn't have, no belt clip, which I could care less. Uh, more importantly, this is not a hammer drill. Now if you work commercial construction or you work in my neck of the woods, Southern California where there's a lot of stucco, you're really going to need a hammer drill. However, again, I have a, you know, a big hammer drill that I carry around, so that's not going to be a big deal for me. The um, Makita and the DeWalt in this price range, I notice, are hammer drills. So if you do a lot of outside work around concrete and stucco, you might want to look at them. But um, like I said, this came with two batteries, and I like Hitachi's because they have a reputation for ruggedness. We'll, we'll see if that plays out. Um, one nice feature, I don't know if you can see, it's got a pretty bright little work light there. So for me, I install a lot of cabinets. Uh, very often I have it up in a cabinet, so that should be a nice feature for me. So I notice it has a, a charge on it right now, which is good. I don't know how much that is. Um, so I'm going to in a minute probably go and charge it. I just want to, while we're here, because it is heavy, that'd be fun to weigh it. So, barred the scale from the kitchen. And 
and it looks like it comes in at about three pounds, 11 ounces. So not exactly a tank, but not a lightweight drill either. So if you're gonna have it on your belt, you might wanna think about suspenders, <laughs> I guess. So let's see how it works. Grab a scrap of wood. Seems like it has a pretty smooth speed range, which is really good, especially if you're hanging drywall or whatever and you need to get the screws in just right. And again, this is not fully charged. This is not a perfect test, but. It does drive drywall screws. And since that's the one thing a drill has to do, That's a good sign. Just from the unboxing and from looking at the fit and finish and uh, feeling the balance, I think I'm going to be pretty happy with this drill. And I don't want to work really hard until I've had a chance to charge it up completely. Um, let me move this stuff out of the way. And I uh, fished out a big self feeding spade bed, uh, one and a quarter inch. So, Grab another scrap and just see how it does drilling decently big holes. And just to make the test more interesting, you can't see, but there's a decently big knot hole on this scrap, which I have a feeling is why I cut it out of the board to begin with. So, bit storage in the base, pretty typical. and how sturdy it feels in my hand balanced. I think this is going to be a good drill for me. I'll have it for many years. But I'll let you know after I've used it a bit, I'll update the comments on this video and tell you how it went for me. In the meantime, uh, I encourage you to subscribe to my channel. I have many how-to videos on there and I have a, a whole other season of how-to videos in the pipeline coming out in a few weeks. So until then, I'll see you later and uh, have fun being handy.